Welcome class of 2027 and new students. I'm your Miss Spanish River, Rita Awkward. I'm your Mr. Spanish River, Adam Grossman. And I'm your proud principal, Miss Castellano. Right now, we're cruising through one of the three entrances that you guys will enter. This is where you're gonna make your first steps and make your finest memories. This year, all students will be required to enter through a metal detector and show their IDs to ensure safety. We're so excited to have you guys for the 2023-2024 school year. This video has a ton of information, so let's get started. You are just beginning your journey at Spanish River. I'm Ava Balsam, Student Government President, and I would like to introduce to you our principal, Mrs. Castellano. Welcome to Shark Nation and the best high school in Palm Beach County. I'm Principal Castellano, and I'm here to make sure that you have the best next four years. I'm Kevin Neto, and as a senior class president, I'm here to tell you that these years go by so quickly. Let's take a look at what the class of 2024 has to say to you. One thing I wish I knew as a freshman that I know now is clubs such as DECO, which provides many business-related opportunities, and sports such as lacrosse. These provide many great opportunities for you to get involved and make new friends all throughout your time in high school. Get involved with sports. Even if you never played a sport before and aren't confident in your abilities, I never played sports prior to high school, and now I'm a two-sport athlete, bowling and lacrosse, and found some of my best friends in sports. It's important to talk to everyone you see in class. When I came to Spanish River, my biggest fear that was I might not fit in or have any friends at all. However, making friends is easier than it seems. Friends can be found during pep rallies, school clubs, or even just in the classroom. Wherever you go, there are many great people to meet at Spanish River. So don't be scared, and dive in. Drama, stagecraft, and TV production are great programs at this school. All these are unique outlets to explore your creativity. I gave TV production a try as a freshman, and since then, I've made a ton of friends and memories through it. Freshman grades are so important. Remember that it's really important to do well, even in your freshman year, so it doesn't hurt you later on. And don't forget, you need a 2.0 to graduate in four years. I'm Cadence Coffey, and I'm your SGA Recording Secretary. All of us in this video are here to help calm your fears. So take a breath, high school will be fun, and you will be fine. There's a lot of information housed in this video. You'll, you will have access to it all year long on the YouTube channel. We will cover a wide range of topics like meeting new people, assistant principals and counselors, schedules, sports, clubs, and so much more. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Ethan Leeds and I'm the Vice President of Student Government. I cannot wait to get to know all the freshmen. I am so super very proud to introduce you to our administration at Spanish River. Let's take a deeper look into our administration and support staff. Hi, I'm Ms. Carell, Assistant Principal here at Spanish River, and I am in Sweet Silver, and I have the letters L through Q. And I'm Mr. Solid, Assistant Principal in Sweet Silver, letters R through Z. And I'm Mr. Abendondolo, and I support both Ms. Carell and Mr. Solid in the Sweet Silver. Welcome to River, guys. Go Sharks! Go Sharks! <laughs> Hi, we're your school counselors in Sweet Silver. I'm Miss Kalman and I have letters L through N. Hi, I'm Natalie Havens and I have letters O through SB. Hi, and I'm Marissa Pazzatempo and I have letters S, C through Z. Welcome, Welcome to Shark, Shark Nation. Nation. Hi, I'm Dr. Allen, assistant principal here at Spanish River High School and I serve letters A through D. Hi, I'm Mrs. DeMarzo, assistant principal and I serve letters E through K. Hi, I'm Mrs. Matthews. I'm the Dean here and I serve letters A through K. You can find us if you ever need anything in Sweet Blue. Welcome, Welcome Sharks! Hi, I'm Lisa Solid, school counselor for students A through CH. Hi, I'm Caitlin Wheatley. I'm the school counselor for CI through F. I'm Melissa Loyacona and I'm the school counselor for G through K. You can find us in the Blue Suite. Welcome, Welcome Sharks! Hi, I'm Mrs. Adelstein. I'm the Academy Coordinator here at Spanish River. Welcome to Spanish River. We're so excited that you're here. If you need anything at all, I am in located in the Silver Suite. Hi, I'm Susie Riggle. I'm the College and Career Counselor, and you can find me in the College and Career Center. Hi, I'm Dr. Vassal. I'm the School Behavioral Health Professional here at Spanish River High School. Welcome. You have made a great choice in coming to Spanish River. Now, our mental health team consists of myself and Mrs. Chase. I'm in the Silver Suite in the 1000 Building, and she's in the Blue Suite in the 1000 Building. Now, guys, if you need any kind of social or emotional support, we are here for you. Welcome again 
and it's great to have you. Hi, I'm Miss Contreras. I'm the ESOL coordinator here at Spanish River. Uh, welcome to Spanish River. If you need anything, please come find me at the ELL office, which is right next door to the main office. Me llamo Miss Contreras. Soy la coordinadora de ESOL. Uh, si me defiendo con el español, si necesitan cualquier cosa, me avisan. Hi, I'm Mary Abramowicz. I'm the ESO counselor here at Spanish River. I'm the ESO counselor for all grade levels 9 through 12. If you need me, you can also find me in the ESO office. Hola, mi nombre es Maria Abramowicz. Yo soy la consejera de ESO de todos los estudiantes acá, de 9 a 12. Si me necesita, por favor, me pueden buscar en la oficina de ESO. Y welcome, Sharks. Bienvenido a todos los Sharks. Hey, I'm Coach Suarez, the new athletic director here at Spanish River High School. And I'm Coach AY, the assistant athletic director. Make sure you get those packets uploaded onto activate.com. Bite, Bite down, down, sharks! I'm Claire Kane, the student government corresponding secretary. Some other key people you may need to know to contact throughout the year are noted on this slide. Testing coordinators, the ESE coordinator, the academy coordinator, and the athletic director and their contact information are all listed here for you. I came to River having never played anything before and I decided to give it a try. Don't let never playing a sport hold you back. I encourage all freshmen to get involved where you can. There's a sport here for everyone. If you have questions about sports or athletics, you will contact the athletic director, Christopher Suarez, if you're interested in a fall sport, please complete the athletic packet which can be downloaded from our website. I am Noah Mares, and I am the student government treasurer. If sports aren't your thing, try a club. Club Rush will take place on August 23rd during both lunches. Each club on campus will set up a table for you to walk around and get information from and join. It is one of the best lunch activities we have at River, so you don't want to miss it. Watch the morning announcements for more information about how to get involved in a club. We had 80 clubs on campus last year. There is bound to be something you like. Everything from debate to esports club to the Jewish student connection. There are new clubs starting every year. If you want to bring a new club to Spanish River, it's easy. It's easy to start a club. Find a teacher sponsor to get a couple of people together, pick a meeting, date, and su submit your proposal to Mrs. Gorin. I am Lila Evans, and I am the District 5 President for SGA. Welcome to high schools and GPA. A GPA is very important to know and understand. GPA stands for Grade Point Average. In middle school, most of you remember earning points to move on to the next class. In high school, it's different. Each of your quarter grades matter and calculate into your GPA. As a freshman, it's important to keep in mind that every one of your grades this year is setting the groundwork for the rest of your high school years. Spanish River likes to recognize and reward students who earn all A's and AB honor roll at the end of quarters. This is also a recognition and reward for students who may struggle a little in one quarter, but work hard to bring their grades up. Listen, we're all human and we all make mistakes. Sometimes your grades, sometimes in other areas. What's important is to work and speak up when you're struggling. If you, do, if you can do that, you'll be okay. You're supported here at Spanish River with the other students, teachers, counselors, and staff here. Hi, I'm Sienna Renner and I serve as the WSRH Vice President. It's important to remember that kindness matters. Let's celebrate our differences and never make fun of other students because they are different than you. Bullying can be reported to administration or using the district website. If you're feeling uncomfortable about a situation, please come to your counselor or an IP and report your issue so we can help you. Stop and think before you post as well. Is what you're posting positive, nice, kind? Is it something you would want to see on the news or in the newspaper? People can screenshot your posts and send them to around. Don't be a part of hurtful texts to others. You are leaving social media footprint and consequences are serious for bullying in Palm Beach County. And con consequences can include up to a mandatory transfer to another school. We are Mr. and Miss Spanish River. We are all sharks here at River. Our expectations are to be safe, honest, accountable, respectful, and kind. I'm a shark and now you will be one too. Being a shark means we practice these ideals everywhere we go on campus. These are our expectations for all settings on campus to ensure we have a safe, orderly environment where all students can learn. For example, when in the hallway or courtyard, your ID should be visible and you should have at most one headphone in so you can hear directions in the event of an emergency. Always remember to be kind and don't bully others. 
If you are experiencing issues at school, you can report them to your school counselor, assistant principal, or you can report it using the district website. Be careful on social media. This is a large school and stuff can spread very quickly. Don't put anything on social media that you wouldn't want to spread around school. Don't talk about other people or spread rumors and don't post inappropriate pictures of yourself or others. Be careful of text messaging because that can be turned into a screenshot and sent out through social media. Rules have changed and things you put on social media could have consequences both in high school and when you apply to colleges. Colleges look at this stuff now, so be smart about what you are posting. If you see something, say something. You do have a place to report any threats or dangerous situations that you are aware of through the Fortify Florida app and website. While on campus, it is on every district computer. If outside of school hours, it is available on the school district website and can also be downloaded as an app to your phone. This app is monitored by school police, city, and county officials that would respond in the event of an emergency. Please only use this app for threats. You can report other concerns to administration and use the district website to report bullying. Once this app is downloaded, it can be opened and, report, and a report can be made. Just search Fortify FL in the App Store. This icon is found on all district computers. Clicking on the icon will activate the app. Users will then follow the directions provided to complete the report. It provides anyone the opportunity to report a suspicious activity. Even the most important, the report will go to the school police command, safe school leaders, and as well as the principal and school resource officers assigned to the school. This app allows the report, the report to include the details such as name, place, and specific threats. The app also has the capability to have pictures uploaded, such as social media posts. We want to ensure everyone is safe, so if you see something, say something and report, it, report any threats. Anybody can anonymously make a report. You would use this to report weapons, threats of shootings and bomb threats, etc. Please do not use this app for general concerns at school. Report this to administration. I want to remind you that threats to the school are a serious thing. This is nothing to joke around about. Be careful as these are serious, con as there's serious consequences. They're considered a second degree felony that carries serious consequences or even expulsion from the school. Students must bring a fully charged device to school every single day. You're expected to check your school email at least twice a day. This is how your teachers and other faculty members will contact you with important information. We are a one-to-one -one school district and students are expected to bring a fully charged device to school each and every day and a district device when taking any type of standardized assessment. Teachers will not have Chromebook carts in their classroom and there will be times when they will tell you to take out your device to research something, do math by Excel, reading plus, or even submit an assignment electronically once finished to Google Classroom. You should have a charged device with you every day on campus, so please get in the habit of bringing your device daily. When we're testing, you must have a fully charged district device. Devices will be passed out via English classes along with your IDs during scheduled times. Remember, you are expected to bring your charged device each and every day to school. Remember to stay connected with our website, srhs.palmbeachschools.org and our Spanish River YouTube channel. All the information you, you need to know can be located in these two places. When we return to campus, here are some procedures that are important to know about arriving late to class, leaving early from school, and attendance policies. When you are late to class, you must go to the tardy kiosk located around campus and put your student number and grab a tardy pass that prints. You will then give the tardy pass to your teacher. If you need to leave school early, a parent must call Blue Pass for you. Blue Passes can only be picked up by you from the suites before school and during ch class changes. You cannot leave class to pick up a Blue Pass, and your Blue Pass cannot be for a time that is during a class period. Absences count now that you are in high school and can affect receiving course credit. Several improvements have been made to increase the security of the school single point entry. All visitors coming and going from campus must enter or exit through the single point. Security will check IDs, wrap their system, and coordinate student pickup slash drop off. The campus will be completely closed from 12 to 12.30 p.m. each day while students eat lunch. No pickup or drop off can occur during this time. This is what your schedule looks like in SIS, or if you print it out, you'll see the period class, teacher, name, and room number. Now, I am sure everyone is wondering what lunch they have. So here's how you determine if you have blue or silver lunch. Look at your fifth period class, Look at the room number for your fifth period class. If your fifth period class is in the 8,000 building, you will have blue lunch or first lunch. 
This means that you go to period four, then lunch, then periods five, six, and seven. Now, if your fifth period class is in any other building besides 8,000, then you have silver lunch or second lunch. So you will go to period four and then five and then lunch and then periods six and seven. It's very important to watch the announcements every day as all important information is relayed through the morning announcement links. If you miss them, you can always find them on the Spanish River Community High School YouTube channel. In addition, each morning there is free breakfast if you want to grab it in the cafeteria. Scheduled trance requests can be made online. Counselors have been working on changes since, since schedules have been posted to SIS on July 28th. A link to this forum was emailed to you and your parents. If there is still something wrong with your schedule, submit your request ASAP and your counselor will, will review the change. If your request cannot be accommodated, your counselor will communicate the reason for the denial. Please understand that your alternate choices may have been selected because your first choice is not available. Visit the school website at srhs.palmbeachschools.org and click on the schedule change request link. As we look to these dates, you should have had your schedule change process online if you needed one. If something is still wrong with your schedule, contact your guidance counselor and make sure you check your student email so you have access to all your Google Classroom codes and you can join your classes. You are going to have to study here. This is not middle school. Teachers are more than happy to help, but you will also need to ask when you need it. A lot of teachers offer extra tutoring during lunch or after school. Don't wait until the test. If you don't understand something, don't be afraid to raise your hand or speak to the teacher after. It's never too early to start earning your community service hours. You can locate the community service forum on the school website or pick up one from any office on campus. It is required that you have 20 hours of community service in order to graduate. The 20 hours are due by December 1st of your junior year of high school. Community service opportunities are posted to the school website and sometimes announced on the announcements through WSRH. Completed forms are emailed to Mrs. Gorin. This is what the community service form looks like. When you turn it in, double check that it is completely filled out. The hours have been totaled and it is signed when you submit it. If you are caught out of dress code, you will have to change your clothes before going back to class. If you don't have clothes, you will have to call your parents and wear clothes provided to you by the sweet blue or silver. Just wear the right clothes. Don't try to get away with things. A jacket doesn't hack it. You cannot be out of dress code and cover it up with a jacket. For safety purposes on campus, keep in mind you cannot have hoods up and you must be able to be identified as a student. Hi, I'm Sam Rapport and I'm the president of WSRH. IDs must be worn every day. Freshmen will receive their IDs when they visit the media center to get devices via their English classes. Disciplinary consequences may result if not worn daily. IDs are a major part of school safety. Consequences are enforced after every student receives an ID. Students must show their student ID when they enter campus in the AM or they will have to go to the main office slash media center and purchase an additional ID for five bucks with the first one being replaced for no charge. You can have your phones, but you can only use your devices before school, during class change, lunch, or after school. But for teachers aside, if you can use them during class. If not, keep them put away. If you have your phone out when you're not supposed to, the teacher could take it and turn it into the front office. Sweet silver or blue will hold your phone until your parents comes to pick it up. If you need to see a teacher at lunch, you must have a pass to enter. The pass can be a mind, text, email, paper, or etc. You have the opportunity to purchase your locker today on the tour. If you feel you like it, then you may go to your locker in between, in, in between the classes before and after school. The culture here at Spanish River, it's different. People are nice here and will help you if you get turned around. Make sure you look for the signage that hangs at the start of each hallway. The campus has a few buildings that house classrooms. Many classes are located in the 8,000 building. We also have the 1,000 building, the portables in the 7,000 building, and the 3 and 4,000 buildings. If you take classes that are numbered in the 2,000 buildings, those are located in the gym. When you arrive in the, in the school, to school in the morning, you may be dropped off in the bus loop or the parent lot. There are no drop-offs in the student lot. Once you are on campus, you may not leave campus until dismissed at the end of the day. Use your phone to get connected to school. Some teachers use Remind 101 or Remind.com and others will email your class updates or send Google Classroom messages. Make sure you're always checking emails and Google Classrooms for important reminders. Follow the class accounts. Grab your phone now and follow the Class of 2027 Instagram account. 
It's SRHS underscore 2027. Text at Raw Club 23 to 81010 for Raw Club, Rowdy as Heck Spirit Club. Follow at Hail the River on Insta. All school activities and info slash reminders are posted here. Want to be a class officer? Want to join SGA? Email at paulette.riedel at palmbeachschools.org. Sub activities to look forward to, homecoming dance, carnival lunch, and other lunch activities, dress up days, and pep rallies. While you have your phones out, you can also download the PBCSD app and follow Ms. Castellano on Twitter. You will find her at Castella Ali, and you can follow Spanish River on Twitter by searching for at SRHS underscore sharks. Still have questions? You can call the main office at 561-241-2201. Email your assistant principal, email your school counselor, or check the school website, srhs.palmbeachschools.org. I'm Nicholas Cavallari. I'm Jason Rothberg. And we just finished our first year at Spanish River High School, and here's some advice for you. Our advice for incoming freshmen is to do your work. Don't be scared of a low challenge. Don't, Don't cheat, cheat on tests or your assignments. assignments. My advice is to always make sure that you're involved in clubs and all the social events because they're really fun and it helps you make so many new friends. You should always turn in your work on time so you don't have any zeros in there. I'm Nicholas and some advice for you is really focus on studying the first quarter. I mean it's very important to know your stuff in the beginning so you can carry it on later in the year. Actually try and do your work through freshman year because it's just going to make the rest of your experience worse. Be nice to your teachers. Some advice is don't be afraid to try new things and be involved in your school. We're ending off with the bus loop which might become another familiar spot for all of you. We hope this video has given you the information you need to have a great first year at Spanish River. Feel free to contact anyone in this video if you have any further questions. We know there was a lot of information, so if you need to, you can visit the Spanish River High School YouTube channel and rewatch any part you need. Everyone at Spanish River wants, wants to watch you succeed and watch you become a shark. We hope you all have a great first day next year. Welcome to Shark Nation.